today's mobility training tip, I will be sharing the Cossack squat. And pretty much this has been a great exercise in my rehabilitation for my pinched nerve, my low back. It's really great at helping to open the hips and not only open them and, you know, in that stretching fashion, you know, increasing the mobility, but stabilization and strength at the same time. I've found few exercises that have more bang for the buck than this exercise. So getting into it, we're here. We're in a wide, kind of like a wide, just resting bottom of the squat position, and we begin to rock. So I started to go here, I wasn't wide enough. So then you just widen out a little more, and then you're throwing your weight into this knee, elbows tight, heel down, bring your toes towards the shin. We're looking to go back and forth, slow and controlled. This also really helps with the ankle dorsiflexion. And this has really helped me with just my overall hip movement, hip mobility. But it's a strength based exercise too. You know, so I would advocate this more than much of the yoga and stretching based work that I've gotten into because of this. It's strength stabilization and mobility. And it's a lot more active control. And you know, Fujitsu guys like me, like you watching, you need more active control when you're doing the sport. So it's a few explanations here. When we're making that movement, navel is in tight, okay? Ribs are locked down, shoulders are down. You know, I'm speaking while I'm doing it, so it's causing me to be a little more puffed in the shoulders, but you wanna stay locked down, creating core that's very stable. So I'll do a few where I'm really not Speaking. Good, then when we're here in this position, notice this angle here. That's ankle dorsiflexion. This is really working on our knee health. The more we can bend and shorten this ankle of that dorsiflexion. The more we can make that happen, the stronger our knees get, and the more our hip function will open, the more our hips will open up. With that, when you're in jiu-jitsu, when you're playing butterfly guard, what do you have? Hooks. You just have to lift, okay? Active ankle. So the better you can create strength on the front side, the tibialis anterior there, the more you can strengthen that, the more you can use your legs as hooks because the end, the end is strong, stable, able to move, and that ties all the way into your hip function. If you're a guard, butterfly, all that is going to be strengthened from this move, and it's a great way to start your day off. It's one of my favorite go-tos, and also a good way to just keep throwing in throughout the day after training. It's one of those drills that adds up. You don't just do it. Like, well, I don't touch that for three days. No, do this every day, multiple times a day. Grab the kettlebell if you got it. It's a great count, counterbalancer while you're doing it. Helps you keep those elbows tight, chest up. But apply it, put it in your training regimen. It's gonna make you move better, move more efficiently, move smoother on the mats. And I promise your hips are gonna be thanking you. Knee health, ankle health, all of the above. Cosmic squats are where it's at. Guys, connect to me below. If you found this helpful, let me know and uh, throw me any questions my way. You know, on training tips, where you need a little help, throw them my way. Guys, I'd really appreciate it if you liked, comment, subscribe, if you found this video helpful and mean a lot to uh, help me develop what I'm building with this and what I'm looking to share. So the support would be greatly appreciated. Hope you all have a good day.